everybody. Welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars. What's up? Hello. We're back for another full episode on a wonderful Happy Monday. And Ooh, Monday. And we're coming Monday. to you with another store pick. This is also from Northside Liquor. This is a, a single barrel bullet. Miss um, Pat said that this is the best bullet she's ever had. So pretty exciting to uh, give this one a try. Well... And I'm not going to say anything other than to say that it's not terribly hard to get a better bullet than what the normal bullet is. True. That's, that's True. my opinion. But coming from a person that's not really a big fan of Such bullets in the first place, yeah. for her to talk <clears throat> this one up, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, there might be a little bit of bias in there if well, she was I mean, the maybe, barrel pig but, person or not, you know, but, but at any rate, mm -hmm. but, I mean, let's, let's try, try it. it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's yeah. try it. Uh, <clears throat> So this one is a hundred. I'm a fan. This know. one is 104 proof. Uh, of course, everybody knows, or if you're in bourbon, you know this is from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it's a rye mash bill and things like, like that. A, so like a high rye. Age statement on this mm -hmm. is between eight and 12 years on their single barrel uh, bourbons. So let's anyway, um, let's try. Yeah. It's got a little ethanol. To me, it's got an ethanol forward nose. But that's some sweetness to it, yeah. As far as the smell, as well. Oh, Cam would not like this. No, did you already try it? Yeah, golly, we're nosing it. Well, I mean, I already knows he's it. spilling in for Cam just fine, is he yeah. not? Yeah, Cam, and Cam was unable to walk I, this week as yeah. well. So, um, I'm channeling my inner yeah. mullet. Yeah, I mean, those are some things you don't need to rush, you don't want it to cause mm -hmm. further damage to, to certain areas. So, we understand it's it's good. It's got a decent flavor. It's got a good burn as well. That's why I think you wouldn't like it. There's not a lot there to me. To me, it's it's definitely got like a, I don't know, that finish is still with me. I mean, it's I'd say it's a fairly long finish. I yeah. Mean, it's kind of oily. <clears throat> I, I think I think the fancy word is satiny. Satiny, yeah. Satiny. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like those sheets you had on your place whenever you were a bachelor. Uh-huh. Satiny sheets, huh? You can taste the taste the oak, mm -hmm. which you kind of expect from the age. Yeah, a little toffee. Maybe. But it's not real. The there's sweetness. not like a. It's not a punch you in the mouth. This is bold. There's a lot to this. A lot of flavor, to me. I, I mean, it's it's not like it's real watered down, but it's not a real bold bourbon to me. I think this pairs decent though with the with the cigar. I yeah. mean, it's, I kind of get a... <clears throat> the sweetness is kind of a toffee sweetness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe some... Oh, I got you, man. Oh, my man. <laughs> got the gun. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's only appropriate, right? Bullet and a little rifle lighter. Thank you, sir. Mm. Stay strapped or get clapped. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> Something like that. That's funny. I know it's stupid, but anyway. <clears throat> no, that's a that's a good pour. You know, I'm just not to me top shelf, but I mean it's a, just a decent just you know. I want to say before we get into ratings, mm -hmm. I think price point was fifty five. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's about for a, for a store picks. That's about middle of the road. Yeah, that's not bad. Fifty five or sixty yeah. somewhere I in mean, that area. I, I don't remember that. exactly, but it's 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 in that area. Yeah. yeah. I generally don't balk at the 50-ish range yeah. for a, well, for a I bourbon. Well, your typical you know? run-of-the-mill, middle-of-the-road mm -hmm. bourbon is 60, $60 price point. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty average. Yeah. I mean, you got some cheaper ones than that, and you got more expensive ones. Yeah. So. I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, that's middle-of-the-road because you can spend... And for a store pick, yeah. I think that's, that's actually pretty solid for a store yeah. pick because they're generally yeah, another yeah. 15 to 20 bucks mm -hmm. over that. But. Yeah. Which puts it pretty much in the in the proper range of you know off of normal bullet you know yeah i mean you had <coughs> the, the barrel pick store I mean, pick price i mean bullets were 25 to 30 dollars well i don't know when i was when i had my locker at winston's back in the day i kept a bottle of bullet in there because it was 20 bucks and yeah. it would fit yeah because of the size of the ball nowadays it's probably 25 it's probably yeah. yeah it's probably 25 ish nowadays yeah. but, but 
that's for your orange label, which yeah. is aged less than this. Yeah. They do have a bullet ten year that's a little more pricey. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. And yeah. it's not bad. I mean I've had the the just the run of the mill, the, the orange label I guess. And I've only had it I bought a bottle of it. And granted I was new in the bourbon at the time, um, but I didn't care for it. And to be quite honest with you, I mean I've had worse bourbon than this. But there's things that I, I would not buy this for me. I, it's just not my bag, and I don't know if that's because it's a high rye mash or but I, that's, that doesn't make sense to me because that's probably not it. Because I like I'm gonna say you rye, like I'm a good mash I'm a fan of rye. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, I like it okay. Um, I don't think it's the bad. regular bullet. I actually when I was brand new into bourbon, I was drinking that a lot with Coke. Yeah. Because I didn't know any better. Uh, so it's a decent mixer. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're wanting to go that route, I think regular bullet's just fine for that. By itself, not. I, there's other things for the same price point that are better. So. Well, I mean, the lat that we done uh, uh, Stranahan store pick. Yeah. And that was, this oh, out no, of that the was head and shoulders above the yeah. sure. water. Of course, it's another, you know, 20 bucks. Another 15 ish. 10, yeah. 15, yeah. 20 bucks higher, but. It's worth that money to me. Oh yeah, over yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, so. this doesn't pair bad with the smoke. No. But yeah. Speaking of Cam, I don't think you would like this. I think you're right about that. I think you would say that it's spicy. Yeah, it's got a little little heat. It's got to a little it. little heat. Not for the proof. It's definitely, you know, looking at the proof and and yeah. tasting the heat. I would not expect it to be as as yeah. as. as I mean, it's yeah. not hot, but, but it's hotter than what 104 hotter than a, proof, yeah. you know, I would think it would be. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It drinks yeah, hotter than what it is. is. Yeah. Now, maybe with a cube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This Am might, open, it up a little yeah. This yeah. might yeah. open up a hair and be a little a little smoother. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. I'm just All not. right. Well, you want to start us off on ratings? What do you think? <sighs> I think for myself, I'm going to go with a 3.25, and I think that's kind of on the top end. Um, it's easy to get right now, at least for that for that pick. Um, the price point for a store pick isn't bad. To me, the flavor's not horrible. I could drink it. I could drink it again. However, I would not purchase it for myself. So three and a quarter is about as good as I'm going to go. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Because I don't hate it. I, I don't hate it either. Uh, price point's not terrible. It's kind of middle of the road. Um, it is not going to be available, this particular barrel, I mean, yeah. after after this. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to say probably... A, let's go with a... Let's go with a 275. I think it's okay. I think it's it's a it's a good bourbon to have around. Uh, I think people you have your buddies over. Yeah. Uh, two thirds of them will probably enjoy it. Uh, uh, yeah. So that's a majority, yeah. and yeah. two seven fives above half. So I, I think that that's pretty good for me. Two seven five. Mm. Here we go. Yeah, here we go because uh, it ain't gonna be over a two. You're, you're uh, right, I'm it's bad. not. It's, it's, it's a 1.75. Okay. I mean, it's it's a 1.75. Um, it's just not my bag. I mean, it, it just... I, I would... <clears throat> give me this or give me... You know, if I had a choice between this or, like, Evan Williams' bottle with Bond, I'm buying, an, I'm buying a handle of Evan Williams' bottle with Bond. Two, essentially, for that. And would be more than happy to have those two over that. So, not me. Uh, yeah. But I mean, that's, that's yeah, different strokes for different folks, as yeah. I like to say. Yeah. So, you made it sound like strokes. at the beginning of that, give me, and I was thinking, give me liberty or yeah, give, give me, me death. death. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, kind of where you were at yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, you could, it's just not, it, it's just not mine. It, it's bullet, I'm sure you have great stuff. I've never had your rye or your tenure, but uh, I'm not going to buy that. And the only way that I will have the the rye or the ten year is if somebody gives it to me. I'm not going to spend my money on it. I've not had good luck with a bullet for me. So, 
one point seven five. This only being the second thing from them you've tried, right? Right. So I mean, yeah. the ten year is pretty good. Yeah. Ten years not bad. Well, and this is I got some for this Christmas. Is I like the same it. age statement as the ten year, eight to twelve, ten yeah. in the middle. So, yeah, so so you're looking at about the same yeah. age ish. Yeah. But uh, I, I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's bad at all. Uh, what was the cigar you brought for us today? Well. You knew until I asked you. Yeah. <laughs> God, you guys got me all messed up. Uh, anyway. This is another Crux. It, it, it's the Epicure Maduro. It was the uh, Corona Gorda size. Um, we've done a Crux on here before, but I like their stuff. Limitada, Sam, wasn't it? That was the Limitada. Okay. Sam Ventura, thanks for the Crux. Uh, the Epicure Maduro is a, it's a good solid medium smoke. And I think honestly, it does pretty well with this with this pour. I mean, it's not fighting. It's no, not fighting. no. I mean, it's not. Uh, the cigar is better than the bourbon. I and think, far, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. But uh, I am a big fan of Crux. So, I mean, you know. if it were me, and I were going to pair yeah. a cigar with this bourbon, I would do like you know either a Swisher. Or a, oh, a black and mild, or a white owl, or something like that. Because my are you going to cut it open and put weed in it too? I don't smoke weed, sir. Yeah. Marijuana is bad. If you if you do marijuana, you'll be bad. Okay. The devil's lettuce. Yeah, the, yeah. I heard somebody else call it something else the other day that made me laugh. But some uh, some sort of cabbage. We're yeah. not against marijuana, but we're also not for it. We're neutral. Yeah. Couldn't be more neutral. Yeah. Consider us Switzerland when yes. it comes to weed. <laughs> yeah. Now, if Cam was here, he would be extolling the virtues, but... Oh, I think there's there's virtues of it, but there's virtues of about everything, except maybe methamphetamines. Well, I don't know, methamphetamines, you know, give you energy, so... Do a lot of yard work in the yeah. meth. It's a hell of a drug. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Ask Rick James. Oh, Lord. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so... To <laughs> I'm going to have to cough on North side... Uh, you know, this this might have been the the better barrel from your choices you had. I'm I'm not sure. Not a bad bourbon, and two thirds of the show's opinion. Um, uh, well, I'm an asshole, so. No, or, I mean, I'm I like, wasn't name calling, <laughs> well, but you do have a merit badge. I wasn't yeah. gonna say it, but you yeah. do have a merit badge. But Simon um, Cal here. Yeah. It does not. It doesn't fight the yeah. cigar to me. It's 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 a it's a decent pairing. However. So far, I've bought three store picks from Northside, and this is my least favorite, but we've only tried two. Strand of Hands blows this out of the water. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and it's paired so with younger. that Opus X, it's just insane, mm -hmm. the pairing. Uh, that's, that's my favorite pairing thus far. But yeah. I wouldn't turn that down. No, no, by no. By any stretch. I mean, it's it probably exceeds a lot of the shooter sips we've done. For I sure. mean, it, it's not JP Wiser for God's sake. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> okay, it's maybe not terrible, thing. but it's 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 bad. No, it's Thank not. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> so, see, Cam's not on here, but his spirit lives on with the show. He'll I be mean, back. There's there's things yeah. going on over here that Cam would do. Yes. I mean, I mean, pretty crazy. He would extol the virtues of rainpour, of gin in general. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. And you know true, what we true. haven't mentioned in a while? What's that? The aroma of Legion. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's where I was going <laughs> with the Stranahan's yeah. episode. Yeah. It, oh. yeah, it, it, it oh. kind of reminded me, the, the mm. notes off yeah. of that yeah. reminded me of, of uh, Legion yeah. a little bit. Yeah, well. But I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. I just left it alone. Yeah. And you picked up Stag or something out of that instead, yeah. so. Well, I mean. I left it alone. I'm going to mention Stag every chance I get because, well. Well, let's not mention the low rating. Well, don't it. mention it too much because you can't get it. Uh, he gave it a low rating because, because of, of that. Because of that. Over a point. Yeah. I, know. I, just, I still don't no, get it. No, just a point. It would have been a 4.75. No, it was. It, it would have. It would, you can't be a five. Yes, it can. No. Five it, is an option. It just nothing has reached it yet. Five is theoretically an option. Just like, I'm trying to think of, I'm not a mathematics guy, so. Math is hard. Well, you did get pretty close on the, what was it, Baker's. Yeah. So Baker's, <laughs> oh, God. if you watched watch that episode, I mean, yeah. you gave it a .75 and Tim gave it a 4.25. Yeah. 
and mm. Cam and I. That's were, a pretty. Were, that's a pretty good spread and, and for Cam, the same yeah, four. Yeah. Cam and I were in the middle of the road, and Tim doesn't. He, he's not a brown liquor person at all. No, he's, he's, no, he's, he's kind of a he's wine. A, guy. He's a wino, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. He's fancier and than we are. Kevy just kind of he he kind of this look, over. and he he had this look, and he done the math in his head. And he said 2.25, and I think the actual score is like 2.38. I mean, it there's something crazy like that. He was really close. So you might not be a mathematician, but you're on your way. Yeah, no. That's my brother. He's the math teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I failed algebra too, so should have failed algebra. But I copied people's homework, so. Well, hey. Yeah. Um, as long as you passed. That's the part that matters. Yeah. Um, but you didn't pass. Even though you copied people's homework, so you copied off the wrong people. No, that was algebra one. Oh. Algebra two, I failed miserably. Uh, Had to take happens. it again and still barely made a C. That was it in happens. high school. Of course, you know, high school really wasn't applying. I was You're too busy doing other things. interested in other things yeah. in, in high school yeah. and college, too. Well, yeah. So. Um, so, everybody, be sure that you tune in to the following episode the the episodes we have in store for um st patrick's day i think you're gonna like them yeah. well, comical and we have a very special very uh, special very pour. special pour very limited and hard to get a hold of so we are definitely I've so it's already it it's already at a three for Kevin yeah. Yeah. immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's already got two points against. Yeah, it's already got just yes. because yeah, just that's because. hard to get a hold of. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but we're I mean, looking <clears throat> we're looking forward to that. Yeah, the so luck of the Irish were, was upon us with this. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. Anyway, so we're looking forward to that pour. Um, if you guys are interested in gals. If you're interested in any t-shirts or any of these Glen Cairns that have Buddy Spirits and Cigars on there, it has our logo on the front. Very swanky. Um, message us, get a hold of us on Facebook or Instagram, or leave a comment down below in the YouTube video. Um, we'll do our best to accommodate you and make sure that you guys uh, can, can get some of this. It's definitely available to you. Swag um, is what they call it. Swag. Right? Yeah. And we are uh, we're trying to... Get out there, and it also has on the back. It has the little scan thing, so you can uh, people you can show people that. I mean, if you're waiting in line somewhere, take your kids to the amusement park or something like that. People behind you can actually scan the little barcode on your shirt. It's a QR code, is what it is, and it pulls up all three the of our social thingy. medias. Yeah, pulls up all three of our social medias, and you guys they can go to that and check us out, and uh, it just kind of helps advertise for our channel. Um, we are still um, looking at doing a bourbon tour this summer. A um, couple of days doing that. Gonna, oh yeah. We're looking at uh, some distilleries that really kind of stand out to us, and things that it's in our wheelhouse. But we will take suggestions if you guys, gals, have anything that you want to suggest, and maybe there's a distillery you're interested in, and we're in the area. And we can go to that then uh, we have no problem appeasing you guys but you got to let us know can't read your minds mm -hmm. comment so, leave comments. a comment comment you can subscribe. leave bad comments i like bad comments yeah, yeah. i mean it it doesn't hurt our feelings it's though. interaction yeah. for us and we'll we'll do our best to try to accommodate uh, you guys and if we like your idea if we don't it's our show but i'm just kidding that's something kevy would say but well it is our show <laughs> we're gonna do what the hell we want to do so <laughs> but anyway i uh, hope you like it but if you don't well that's you know <laughs> don't that's a you problem not a me problem don't unsubscribe we're just yeah. playing yeah. anyway um and then we're also going to try to do some meet and greets and things like that um the event that uh the rocky patel event that was at 906 if you didn't make it you missed out on a great time um heath hill was there and we had a good the, time. The cigar rep. Yes. He's not actually rep anymore. He's more like a national sales uh, poobah yeah. or something like that. But is Heath he, is one of the greatest dudes on the planet. Is he related to Hank Hill? No, he wishes he was. <laughs> yeah, he's not He's not quite time. that cool. Yeah. But he's pretty all right on his own. But Heath, definitely <clears> a shout out to you, my brother. We had a great time. I can't wait for you to come back in town. Absolutely. See you again. Uh, always, always good to hang with you, my friend. Always enjoy our time with Heath. And, and um, Nish Patel, Nish. Rocky's brother. I yeah, mean, brother that guy's a wild man. And uh, he definitely knows how to have a good time. So 
Um, anyway, we appreciate your support. Thank you for joining us on another episode, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Peace out.